Hello again. So I've just solved uh, day 15 problems of Advent of Code. So I have to, of course, uh, give those same problems to ChatGPT to solve. So let's try this. I will take the problem description as usual. Uh, the first part first and ask ChatGPT to solve it. Solve following problem input file is attached. So I will take the input file and now let's see what ChatGPT can do. I have uh, quite high, high hopes uh, this time that ChatGPT will be able to solve this because the problem itself is not that complicated. It's just it's mainly about uh, understanding the input and parsing it properly. So we'll see. So ChatGPT uh, will first check the input so it sees how it looks. <clears throat> and now it seems to calculate hash algorithm, which is pretty simple. And yeah, I think this is the right one. 52,001, three, four, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's correct. So we have the first part of the problem finished. Well, let's see if part two will be more complicated or it will be also a breeze. I take this. Congratulations. Okay, so Chinji PT is now gonna try to solve the more advanced version. Okay, so it's building up boxes. Then uh, finding lenses by a label, very similar to what I was doing in my code. Uh, so now to properly implement the operations themselves, but it seems promising so far. So it's trying to find a label. If there is existing, if there is not existing, if there is an existing one, we replace the lens and then we calculate the focusing power. This seems pretty promising, although there is some kind of error. So probably parsing something, it seems. Uh, calculating it seems pretty straightforward so far. I am not sure where it went wrong. Let's see. And Six five zero. That is not correct. That's surprising. Hmm. That is. See if it uh, can verify against the sample input. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, exactly. There is something wrong. I'm not really sure if that was a problem, like adding and uh, removing. That seemed to be implemented correctly. I'm not sure the, about the calculation there, the result calculation here. It starts at one for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's try again. Still getting the same result. Hmm. I don't see that uh, problem right now. Maybe you can see it uh, when you're watching this. So if yes, uh, please leave the leave this in the comments. I, maybe it's the fact that it's putting the lens at the beginning. It shouldn't be there. It should be at the end. 
Yeah, I think that could be it. Uh, Let's verify if that will help. Behind. Okay, so it's not, that's not it. Let's see, uh, it's gonna be adding it at the end, maybe. Yeah, so append, that's, that's better. It was before inserting at the beginning. But we are still not there. So there is something else tripping it. So even though this, this started out pretty promisingly for GGPT, it unfortunately failed in the end. I'm not sure what was the, maybe you, you can see that uh, the problem there in the code, I didn't focus on it that, that uh, thoroughly, but if you can spot the er error in the code, please uh, let me know in the comments. I think like GGPT did, use the proper approach, but uh, there's something, something wrong. I'm not completely sure what. So I think, yeah, maybe, maybe the calculation is incorrect there. Really not sure. Like it seems fine, but maybe something else I am missing. But in any case, I will have to say that uh, ChatGPT, although it completely flew through the first part of the problem, it failed on the second part of the problem. So it's just 50% victory for today. Uh, we'll see if uh, ChatGPT recovers and is still able to solve any of the following days completely. It's getting uh, there. The problems are getting more complicated for sure. So even though ChatGPT had some early victories, um, it's become harder and harder for it to keep up with all the requirements in the description and keep up with all the all the intricacies of the problems. So uh, even though today the first part was was easy peasy, the second part was more complicated to explain and more had more uh, more edge cases maybe, and uh, that meant that it was easier to make a make a mistake there. So, anyways. Thank you for joining this session. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to get notified about future videos, uh, please give me a subscribe or a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.